So, what kind of convenience did you have that wasn't available to your grandparents? Well, my grandparents, when they were born, they had a horse-drawn carriage instead of a car. They had an ice box that actually got filled with ice every week instead of a refrigerator. And they had candles instead of electricity. And, and here I am today, a hundred years later, and I'm able to talk to you on a computer that didn't even exist when I was in college. So modern convenience has made us more physically comfortable than we've ever been. But are we the happiest generation? <laughs> Just take a look at the news headlines, maybe a scroll through your social media feed. And I think that you'll agree with me that no, a resounding no, we are not the happiest generation. We might be physically more comfortable, but all of these technological advances, they haven't led to happiness. And I contend that happiness is the success that everyone's looking for. So welcome, I'm glad you're here. I'm Jen Mallory and my company is called Ingenious Coaching and Consulting. And I named it that because I'm ingenious and my clients, they are certainly ingenious. And although it may or may not have met you, you're ingenious too. Because the word ingenious means creative, resourceful and original. And it's the heart of what it means for us to be human. What makes us different from all of the other sentient creatures on this planet? It's baked into, it's at the core of our performance, our relationships, and our uniquely human well being. It's what makes us resilient and quickly able to respond to the most challenging situations in life. And it allows us to create happiness for ourselves. But right now, during the happy, but during the holidays, I feel stress more acutely than I normally do. Do any of you feel, uh, experience? anger, frustration, guilt, shame, overwhelm, anxiety that just gets heightened by the holiday season? Yeah. Raise your hand if you've had trouble finding the perfect gift or getting ready for that happy family gathering where you know you're going to see your Uncle Bob who you just can't stand. Or try to be cheerful and calm and in the holiday spirit when you wait in a long line of people that doesn't seem to be moving when you have a thousand things to do. So if you raise your hand, congratulations. You are gloriously, ingeniously human and might I say, in very good company. So I'm really, really aware that happiness is an inside job and that it's my reaction to external stimuli that makes me feel stressed out and frustrated on the inside. And if I let other people or outside situations control the way that I feel, then I've lost control of my life and I've lost control of the mastery of my life's experience. So like, I often wish that there was an easy button. You remember the stable commercial, right? You need something, press a button, poof, it shows up. <laughs> Well, it'd be so nice if it were that easy, wouldn't it? But we all know it isn't. But you know what? There is a button of ease. And that's what I want to talk with you about today. So that Staples easy button is all about controlling things that are outside of you. But the ease button is all about managing what goes on inside of you so that you can respond effectively to any challenging situation and be as happy as possible. And that's resilience. And so today, I want to introduce you to positive intelligence and a method called mental fitness that will help you grow the three core mental muscles to transform any of your life's challenges. At the end of the half an hour today, you will leave with an understanding of the method and a simple technique you can use at any time to step beyond the negative thoughts emotions, and the consequent actions that stop you from delivering your best. I'm also going to tell you about the mental fitness boot camp that I've got coming up in January, where if this resonates for you, you can take it to a deeper level. So any questions? Cool. 
So positive intelligence is your capacity to respond to life's challenges with a positive rather than a negative mindset. Its impact is peak performance, peace of mind, wellness, and healthy relationships. And the best news of all, it's a skill that can be developed. Mental fitness helps you cultivate your positive intelligence and mental fitness is your ease button. So positive intelligence was developed by master coach and Stanford lecturer, Shirzad Shemine. It combines his 25 years of coaching and entrepreneurial experience with the latest research in positive and cognitive psychology, neuroscience, and performance science. He had such success with his own clients that he wrote a New York Times best-selling book called Positive Intelligence. And based upon the success of that book, he created this program to help coaches deliver his method. So using research from hundreds of CEOs and their executive teams, Stanford students, world-class athletes, in all over 500,000 participants from 50 countries, developed the, the mental fitness method. Now, in order to do so, there's, there've been lots of people who have um, looked at ways for managing um, stress. And what he found, he took the power of factor analysis and what, what factor analysis does, it's a mathematical equation that discovers the root of any equation and it results in radical simplification. Now he applied this process to psychology. Oh, sorry, I should say, so an example of uh, uh, this radical simpl simplification can be seen with color. So there are literally millions of colors that our eye can detect, and yet three base colors, red, blue, and yellow, make up every single combination of colors. Now, he applied this uh, technique to psychology to figure out the negative thoughts and emotions that commonly stop people as a way of coming up with help. And what he discovered was that there are three core muscles at the root of mental fitness. The first is the saboteur interceptor, the second is the sage muscle, and the third is the self-command muscle. Now the negative thoughts can be, um, he, just, he discovered that basically there are 10 negative thought patterns that will stop people in their tracks. There, and he called them the saboteurs. They're the negative and automatic feelings, thinking, action, and acting, which develop in our childhood. And they are really our inborn strengths misused as ways to solve a problem. In adulthood, they cause all negative emotions and they limit success and happiness. The telltale sign of the saboteurs is when you're experiencing a negative emotion, like the ones we were talking about before, um, frustration, overwhelm, anger, um, the master saboteur, and then there are five sage powers that uh, live in the opposite side of the brain and they help to combat saboteur. So we're going to talk about the saboteur. Okay. So the master saboteur is called the judge, known as the universal saboteur because we all have it. We are constantly, automatically judging ourselves judging others and judging circumstances. And the lie that this character, the judge tells you is that you can't be happy with whatever's going on right now and that you'll be happy when. I know I've fallen victim to this, anybody else? I'll be happy when I graduate college. I'll be happy when I get a new car. I'll be happy when I lose 10 pounds. Do you recognize any of those? The judge is supported by a cast of characters. There are nine of them in total, and they're his accomplices. So there's the controller. It's, it says it's my way or the highway. There's the hyperachiever. 
who says, if I can't be outstanding, I am not going to bother. The restless says, this is never going to work. Let's try something else. The stickler, I can't do it perfectly. If you can't do it perfectly, don't do it at all. The pleaser, gosh, I have to be Everybody, I, everybody else has to come first. Otherwise, I'm not a good person. Hyperachiever, when will the other shoe drop? The avoider, I'm just going to ignore it. It'll work itself out. The victim, oh, why do terrible things always happen to me? And the hyper rational, just show me the data. Most people can get identify themselves pretty quickly in just those little snippets of what the saboteurs might say. Um, but if you'd like to find out more about these saboteurs, I'll give you the, the assessment the URL where you can take an assessment and find out which one you're, which negative thought pattern is likely to be yours. So this is, uh, and when you do the saboteur assessment, here's what the results look like. So as I said before, there's uh, nine saboteurs and the judge saboteur. And all of us are a combination of these, um, these particular thought patterns. So the 10 saboteurs, they motivate through negative emotions of fear, stress, anger, guilt, shame, and insecurity. They're most commonly associated with the left side of the brain. And then on the right side of the brain are the counteractive sage powers that inspire through the positive emotions of empathy, curiosity, creativity, passion, and purpose. This 10 saboteurs might have helped you get successful. I know that I have a hyperachiever as my top saboteur, and I know that I have been successful because this hyperachiever has pushed me and pushed me, but it's also led me not to be incredibly happy at times. So the sage power is what allows us to be successful and it pulls us and draws us to success, inspiring rather than pushing. And it is responsible for sustained happiness. I hear this all the time. People say, like I just did to you, aren't negative emotions good for you? I mean, hey, I've got all that I want. I might not feel so great about it, but, but look at all the things that I have. Let me ask you this. Is pain good for you? What if you put your hand on a hot stove like this horrible picture? What would happen? You pull your hand off pretty quickly. But if you didn't have the pain receptors in your hand, you might just leave your hand on that hot stove and, and, and burn it and cause yourself a tremendous amount of damage. Um, and emotions are kind of the same way. The negative emotions are good for us as we, as long as we use them as an indication that something needs to be paid attention to. And then you move off that emotion as quickly as possible. Is pain good for you? So I like to say, pay attention. Pain equals pay attention and I notice. So negative emotions are helpful for a second as an alert signal and staying in a negative emotion will hurt our ability to see clearly and respond with the wisdom inside of us. The negative emotions are the saboteurs. If you're thinking, oh no, this totally resonates with me. I see all of these saboteurs in my own behavior and my own mind. Don't worry, help us on the way in the form of sage. So, the sage is the seat of wisdom and compassion that's responsible for all positive response. It is what makes you ingenious and resilient and it allows you to be happy. The overall circumstance, the overall um, position of the sage is that any circumstance can be turned into a gift or an opportunity. And the sage lives in the right side of the brain. It, uh, it's, and that side of the brain is associated with positive emotion, peace and calm, clear-headed focus, creativity, and big picture thinker. And it operates from the sage perspective and it has access to five superpowers to help transform challenges. So the sage perspective is that every challenge, problem, or circumstance can be turned into a gift or an opportunity. 
and the five superpowers that the sage uses to transform all of those are empathize, explore, innovate, navigate, and activate. So empathize teaches you to put yourself in other people's shoes, to lighten up on yourself. And more and more studies show that this is the number one skill that's lacked by C-suite executives and causes them to be fired more than any other deficit. Uh, explore challenges you to observe reality with discernment and curiosity rather than judgment. So you have a more complete understanding of what's really going on. And when you have a more complete understanding, it's possible for you to create a more effective solution. You don't know everything that's going on. You might design a solution that doesn't really address the problem. So innovate allows you to capture and give voice to your ingenuity in the form of fresh ideas and wider perspective. And it helps you access the creativity and resourcefulness, I say the ingenuity, that goes around you. The fourth superpower is navigate. And it connects you with a deep sense of meaning and purpose and helps you separate what's truly, what truly matters from what does not. It allows you to focus on the things in your life that at the end of your life, you're going to be grateful you paid attention to. And then activate moves you into calm, clear-headed, laser focused focused action. You're not wasting your time on things that really aren't important. So that's all well and good. So you know that you've got saboteurs that live sort of on the left side of your brain and the stage that lives sort of on the right side of the brain. But which, which perspective is true? Where a saboteur who says this is bad, or a sage that says this is a gift. And the answer really is whichever you believe is true, right? Because it will become true for you. So, all right, I get that. But how do I address it? Right, you're here. So the self-command muscle is what allows you to shift from saboteur to sage. Just 10 seconds of intense focus will quiet negative thoughts and emotions and enable you to respond with a calmer, more clear-headed, more laser-focused mind. And there are many, many ways to do this. Um, I go into this in the, in the boot camp that I teach the six-week uh, six class. Um, but I want to teach you a simple technique that you can use right now in the holidays. And it is three steps. This is the three steps to the calmer holidays. So are you ready? All right. So what I want you to do is just bring up situation that you've had in the past couple of weeks. So if you're anything like me, you've had a number of them to choose from. Um, and just kind of get it in mind and remember, remember, bring it into your memory. And uh, as you do that, I want you to, to sit up, sit up straight and put your shoulders back. Okay? Take a breath and put your fingers together like this. And you just touch them together so gently that you can just barely feel them touching. And then I want you to rub the, your fingers back and forth with such a tension that you can feel the ridges in your fingers. And do that for about three breaths. So anyone who took on the challenge you want to share what came up for you? What happened? So what you should notice is that you feel just a little bit calmer, that some of those feelings have less and they might not totally go away, but you should feel a little bit better, a little bit closer to happiness. And you know what, if you didn't feel anything, that's okay. Um, the changes can be so subtle that they're hard to detect. Um, if that's true for you, you might try it, that same technique, um, rubbing your full palm together because it's easier to feel when you have more points of contact in your hand. Um, all right, so why does this work? Well, giving something 100% of your focus in this particular way changes your nervous system. It calms you down and it moves your, it moves your thought pattern from the left side of your head into the right side of your head, which is the seat, seat of wisdom. 
When you experience negative thoughts and emotions, your brain gets stuck in a particular groove or neural pathway, and it's been formed by a lifetime of reactions. And just, it's, it's like riding your bike in the wrong gear. Anybody ever do that? Yeah, just what happens? Yeah, you just get stuck and you go around and around and around. And then when you finally get it into the right gear, what happens? Yeah. And just 10 seconds of intense focus can get you into that right gear. And then you can make another choice. And with consistent and deliberate practice, with consistent and deliberate practice, you can, um, you weaken the negative neural pathway and you rewire a new, more positive groove into the brain. And it becomes easier over time to access that positive because it becomes more habitual. So what does this look like in action? So uh, I had a situation um, just the other day when I went to Costco. Uh, I, maybe you saw my video about this on Facebook. Um, I went to Costco intent on getting my favorite candies, which are unreal, because this is the time of year that I like to have some candy in the house. And my daughter is coming home and she likes them too. So she tends to eat my stash. So I knew that going to Costco was going to be a little bit crazy. And so I really prepared myself, I prepared myself by uh, doing some meditation before getting there. I popped a podcast into my phone so that I could listen to something as I was moving along. And I had a list that I knew where everything in the store was. So of course I get there and there's just a crush of people. I'm like, no problem. Okay, I got this, so no worries. And I get into the crush of people and I'm like moving my cart around. And then I get to the place where the unreals are and they're not there. And I was, so now I have to move, right? So I have to move my cart around, find the unreal. So I push my cart around. Five minutes later, I came to the unreal and there were people standing in front of it. I was like, so like, ah, I gotta kill something. So frustrating. Um, and I started to get where I can get really like pushy with people and really short. And I decided that, you know what, it just, it just totally wasn't worth it. And that I had this plan. And so I just looked at people and that woman looked up, I looked her in the eye and smiled. And just that enough was enough to break that intense feeling that I was having, I calmed down just a little bit. It seemed like just as I did that, the sea of people parted I got in, I got my own reels, and I was able to get out of the store in relative peace and calm. All right. So this demonstrates the simplicity of the operating system. And it's the three simple techniques that you can use, the three simple steps to have a calmer holiday. So the first thing to note is if you're feeling negative emotion, just stop. Understand that you have been hijacked by one of these saboteurs. You want to do some PQ reps, either rubbing your fingers together or your hands like we talked about, or even just looking intently at somebody. Um, we'll quiet the saboteurs and activate the sage. To adopt the sage perspective that, okay, so this is a problem. It can be converted into a gift or an opportunity. And then from there, you're able to step into the sage superpowers of empathy, curiosity, creativity, or calm, clear-headed. All right, so that's an overall explanation of the three simple steps that you can use to be calmer this holiday season. So any wisdom from the room? All right, making lasting change stick. So what makes changes like this stick? Is it possible really to just shift from saboteur to sage response even in the toughest of challenges? Yes, it is, but the speed and depth of the shift depends on the mental muscle strength. So 20%, like we talked about today, so now you're aware that you have a neural pathway that's been created over a lifetime of experience that has you perceive things in, a, in, in one of 10 negative patterns, right? So you have the insight, you understand that. You also know that you can counteract that with a really simple technique. But positive lasting change doesn't just require insight. It requires mental muscle for application for it to work. 
And the application of boosting your positive intelligence quotient at 37% higher sales, 31% better performance, three times more creative and a significant increase in overall happiness. And this is what was found as the result of the, um, the studies that they did with all of the CEOs and the athletes and the students that we mentioned in the, in the, in the first slides. And this, this was really the results that we got. But to be successful, like any other kinesthetic or body related um, practice, it requires an intense initial practice. So if you ever notice going to the gym and you make a new year's resolution and you're gonna you know, get really healthy and fit and the first day you go, you can't really lift a 40 pound weight. Well, at least I can't, maybe you can. Um, but after 30 days of practice, guess what? No problem with that 40 pound weight. So this is just like that. And the success requires an intense practice of about 15 minutes a day for six to eight weeks. And what that'll do is it'll install the operating system um, and it will get you on the way to start creating a habit that will break some of these old negative patterns that you got going on. So I have a program that will help you for that. So if you have had enough today, um, I'm, I'm going to talk a little bit about the mental fitness program and what the benefits of it are and explain when it's happening and how people can participate. If you've gotten enough from this conversation and you know that you have a technique that's going to help you have a calmer holiday season, um, I in, in, invite you to step out. You don't need to stay. If you are interested in learning about this fantastic program, I hope you'll stick around for a minute. All right, so the program is called Mental Fitness for Ingenious, Ingenious People. It's a seven week program delivered via personal app and Zoom. There's an hour video um, every, that's released every Friday. So you watch it over the weekend. It's hosted by Shirzad Shamine, who is the creator of the series. Um, and there's the 15 minutes of practice that goes along with the training of the week. And you'll get a prompt on the app uh, four times a day. It takes roughly 15 minutes, which is about 1.4% of your waking hours. Um, you'll have group facilitation and coaching with me during the program. So one week we'll meet as a pod um, and you'll go and, and you'll have an opportunity to share with people who are also going through this experience. Um, studies have shown that people who go through an experience together are 500% more likely to stick with it and have positive results. Um, you'll also be given a PDF of the first eight chapters of Shirzad's book, Positive Intelligence, that you can read along or you can listen on the app. And you have access to the app for one full year so that you can, after the program is over, continue your practice um, as I've done. I'm coming up almost on my full year of this program. And um, all right. The investment for this is usually $1,300 per person for the platform and everything that's in the platform plus the group coaching. But I'm running a special and because you're here, you are eligible for it. It's a friends and family discount of 50%. So if you sign up before December 31st, you can sign up for the January or the February cohorts. Um, the price for you will be $650. And it's good for anybody that you want to, to do this with you. So if you want to save a spot, please text me your information, um, your name and your email address, right? So here's my number, 845-323-6247. And go to positiveintelligence.com slash assessment to take the assessment and find out what your top set tours are. You email the, me the results at jen at theingeniouscoach.com. I'm happy to go over them with you um, and uh, to figure out if it's the uh, it accurately describes you. Um, so the deadline to register, as I said, um, is Friday, December 31st. And the start date is either the week of January 9th, uh, the week of January 16th, or the weekend of February 9th. So you can participate with at least one other accountability partner that you can choose or not choose. And if you would like to create a custom pod with um, friends and family members, um, and not be with anybody that you haven't met before, um, I'm willing to do custom pods as well. 
Um, so contact me and we can work out the details. So thank you. Thank you for making the time to listen to this today. I'm really passionate about this work. It's had a tremendous impact for me and for my clients. And I have to say that this is the calmest I have felt in years around the holiday time. And um, I hope that you can take it and uh, use it for yourself. And um, I also hope to hear from some of you in the upcoming weeks. So thanks very much.